how Princess Mononoke nails its environmentally friendly message. Princess Mononoke is one of Studio Ghibli's most famous and well-renowned films. It has a fantastically atmospheric soundtrack, breathtaking animation, and intriguing characters. Its story focuses on a prince trying to relieve an ancient curse. He travels across the land, trying to find the origin of his dark fate, only to be met with a twisted yet engaging unexpected journey. Does that kind of story initially invite an environmentally friendly message? It seems like more of an afterthought than the main plot. Well, in my opinion, that's the best way to present an environmentally friendly message. Through subtlety. Compare this to western films such as Fern Gully, Avatar, or Animals of Farthing Wood, where the message is basically humans bad, trees good, and doesn't elaborate on why. If you took the environmental message out of these movies, there'd be little to no plot. Princess Mononoke, however, could have taken its eco-friendly message out of the plot and still had an engaging story without it. They could have made the animals complete mindless savages who attack humans for no reason. Mononoke goes for a more balanced approach. The animals want their forest back, and the humans simply just want to survive after being pulled out of slavery. They need the machines and the iron just as the animals need the forest. It's the fact that neither side wants to negotiate with the other which causes the conflict. A conflict that our main character is caught in the middle of. While watching this film, you may get a feeling that Miyazaki genuinely feels this way about the environment. He doesn't want the earth to suffer, but he also has a fascination with machinery. He believes that there could be a balance between the two. If this film shows us anything, it is that a situation like this is far from black and white with no simple solution. It's up to the new generation to build a more sustainable world. <laughs>